Hello, I hope you're well. Welcome to another reading. Let's see what we've got. Ooh. Curiosity. You're curious about something, opening the door to something. Curious about a different direction, about taking a different direction in work. Not following your ancestors. You're actually being guided by your ancestors to not follow in their footsteps, to shake things up, to uh, shake things up for uh, the family line. As well as yourself opening a door. You could be going back into your family history. Something is making you very curious. Coming in from the outside, in, in from the cold. It's like all these people are doing, yeah, all these people, these crows, are doing the same thing, but you're changing it up. Uh, what's in here? What's been hidden from me? Opening the door, this could be an awakening. This could be uh, something that's been shown to you or something you, you're realising, you found out because you've gone looking for it. At the right time as well. The timing's right for you to go and look, to have an adventure, to... Find out secrets. Discover the secrets that have been hidden from you. Family vault. Vault of secrets. It could be a um, Kashyyyk record. So, yeah, this is no awakening. Dark Knight of the Soul. You've been curious about something. Found out about it. This could be coming out of your religion. Something like that. And 33 is important here. 11. Look at that. 11 is the awakening number so uh but you've it's about changing coming in from the core changing something waking up to something everybody else is asleep and it's like oh do you know it's reminded me of that story the moomin story it's my moomin oh there he is The Moomin story where um, they all went to sleep, okay, and uh, for the winter, but for some reason, the little one here woke up and it was all the adventures he got up to with all the people he, he met that were um, out in the night. It could be ghost hunting or something. I don't know, but you're connecting with people at night. could be through your dreams Hmm, interesting. <laughs> what was that stuff? I can't remember. Hmm, definitely connecting. Could be getting downloads at night. Something going on there at night. Messages. Yeah, it's thrown you uh, for a loop. But you've started thinking about the world, thinking about yourself, uh, changing things up in a debating about your life, wanting to change your job, travel. Career, something, pff, something's coming in. Uh, it's giving you insight. But, yeah, because with this card, look at the illumination at the back here. It's trying to get this, whatever it is, it looks like a flower or something to me. And it keeps dropping stones in until he can reach it. Where this flower here was there all along hidden in plain sight and that has given you this period of standing still is giving you some insight or will be giving you some insight that you need and it's going to help you determine how you win you succeed you get this opportunity this job this relationship you've had to go in and look at yourself what drives you what uh propels you forward what what you really want out of life. Okay. Off the top, they want them off the top. Something about going out in nature, seeing it, getting the answers in nature. Somebody could be working with the elemental realm. Uh, that you've been resisting. Something you're resisting. It's like you know it all, but you're resisting it. I don't know if you're afraid of it or... I, I'm not sure. But it's, you need to start preparing because something's coming in for you. Look at them. 
this card is about how the um they wait for the ferry coming in the crows or whatever and it's all the rubbish that's left behind when the people are waiting and they swoop down as soon as they're um they're off it in the ship in the ship yeah in the ferry okay and they swoop down on what's left and they start preparing they start gathering and waiting for this to happen they know when it's coming gonna happen because the ferry's going out or it's sometimes it'd be when it comes in as well yeah yeah and there's teamwork yeah more, more growth right we're going to find out a little bit more about what's going on here preparing is something you've been resisting and you need to actually be preparing for uh, i have a feeling about this but i'm going to wait until other cards come out um yeah was getting this the other day i'll see what cards come out and see if it confirms what i'm thinking yeah we've got an awakening happening some messages coming in seeing something opening your eyes it's time to open your eyes and see what is around you there are some things that have been, you've been walking through the deep, dark forest. You can't find your way out because you've been walking through with your eyes closed. You need to see what is around you. There are messenger, messengers, there are guides, it's everything. Somebody's seeing, seeing something like that, crawl. Somebody's taking the trash out. I would say rubbish, but uh, you see a trash on a US, so... Um, there must be something that you have to do. Take out the rubbish, clear out, purify, cleanse. All the toxic thoughts and ideas that have been going around your head, they need to be removed. You may have to go and um, talk to someone. But once you do this, growth. Realise that uh, what you've been thinking about yourself is toxic. You may have a, a terrible internal critic. Okay apple of my eye too not all that's alluring may be what it seems see beyond the illusions a lot of illusions around you it's been keeping you stuck and i think you're going through an awakening for this growth uh, you've been trying to act alone but i think you may need to work in a team preparing to work preparing for something that's coming in for you and it's going to require teamwork not working alone you've been resisting this but it's almost like you're starting to see you're starting to see that um you're curious about it some things don't appear right so it's almost like you're doing a little bit of an investigation and thinking about it they're a mess they've been trying to get you uh, out of this locked persona for a while to be who you really are not what you think you should be trying different things yeah, your ancestors are pushing you forward as well. Life should be sipped slowly with intention. Be patient as the vision reveals itself. Yeah, I'm seeing a racehorse run. Mm. Interesting. That one, maple tree, 24. There is change coming that is so big it will shift all that exists definitely a tower we've got that in the last reading there's definitely a tower coming in you're going to be seeing things it's a big shift in your perspective a huge tower that resistance is going to go you're going to write yourself yeah you're going to see and you're going to be prepared um there's going to be teamwork there's got to be teamwork why is this one upside down wool you are woven with an embrace protected loved and the fam familiarity of finally being home. You haven't felt that though. It's upside down. You have felt that everything's against you. Uh, you can't get anywhere. Uh, but they're asking you, your guides and ancestors asking you to change your perspective on that. Because it's untrue. It's an illusion. I'm going to take one more. 
it's i'm doing that but it's on the top elderberries 13 now 13 is the number for transformation for me Th anything three there is a knowing within bone allow it to guide you it's almost like your intuition is guiding you it's telling you giving you the answers now look within and the transformation will take place and give you what you want okay where do you want me to go now Oh no, I haven't, I haven't got the book for the runes. All right, I meant to bring that up. I actually got my runes here. But I haven't brought the book in and it would be unfair to you. So let's go to this, see what guidance we can get. Oh, Something's stopping you from moving forward. We got that last time as well. Manners. Now we had this the other day. Now I'm not saying these right, okay? We had this the other day, but it was upside down. Or oh, I've did I yes, it was upside down. Yeah. One of the readings I did. Manners 20. Let's have a read because I don't know these that well. Develop yourself in all ways you can, all the ways you can. Fulfill your potential. Do not shy away from the collective consciousness. Human nature means mistakes are made, but we can learn from them. Working with and for the community is becoming important for you. Be rational about an issue rather than emotional. So your emotions could be in the way. Now they put a light on this bit, so I'm going to read it out. From the God's breath, I came and was made whole, life given, fates chosen, word bestowed and, f and flowed. But it is up to me now to move and to choose. It is up to me to shimmer the carvings, to shake the tree. I am my mouth. So it's up to you. You've got to make some decisions. This rune also indicates a need for stronger connection between the gods and man, for greater trust in the divine. It was believed. So you may not be trusting the universe to take you in the correct direct direction. <laughs> um, it was believed that the gods gave us gifts, but that it was up to us to push fate along and achieve our full potential. The waste of talent was a great source of sadness to the Norse. One did not squander good health, a good pair of hands or an inclination towards poetry, music or service to the gods. So again, it's going on about that creativity that I picked up in the last reading that you need to pick up and continue with. OK, I had a light on this one, Kenneth. I'm not saying it right. I know I'm not. I'm going to have a look at that one. The way forward is illuminated. Be the change you wish to see. Don't just talk and body your message to the world. No one can know everything. So learn from trusted others or elders. By illuminating our shadows, we understand ourselves and our behaviours more deeply. It is the force that shows us the right way forward for us and reveals to us the knowledge we need to be at our best. The Vikings would often turn to elders or others who had experience in a process or subject and seek their cooperation. Then those with the knowledge would share it in formal councils convened to solve whatever issue was at hand so you could be in a position of having to give advice to others and not having the confidence to do that uh, but that's what you're supposed to be doing the uh, creativity that you have could be an expression of uh, advice if you like of counsel uh, to people okay uh, if you're a writer for instance or your your art or if you're a writer your um Expressing through your word, advice, help, counsel in an indirect way. Okay, so we'll leave that one, I think. Where do you want me to go next? 
did we have that nature yeah we did it's in your nature to do this it is part of you you cannot not do it okay Tarot. I'm saying fish, I haven't even got that card out, but it's like salmon going upstream. Don't, f oh my god. <laughs> That's the card. <laughs> Don't follow the others, carve your own way though. It's like that, um, uh, these cards came out. I shall take them because I know my spirit team. They're very, um, carve your own way. Don't follow the crowd. Yeah, remember, don't sit there and, oh, I can't say anything. Be curious. Follow the crowd. Curiosity plays a large part in your art. Helps you experiment. Don't keep looking for what you should be doing. It's here. You just have to say, where's that other one? It will come in. Prepare. It is going to come in for you. But you've been very resistant. You've been hurt with it. Uh, people have been unkind. People have put you off the path. This is part of your growth. It's about learning to persevere and continue no matter what. I can't believe that card came out. You can't make this up. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This can also be about flowing... Well, no, it's going against the floor, isn't it? It's jumping up, going against the floor. But in this case, it's great. There's some sort of emotional gift. You may have been overwrought by your emotions, which has blocked your creativity. Okay. This is like a wise guy, isn't it? The um, king of vessels, the heron. King of Vessels is the King of Cups. It's almost poised, ready for action. You have to be in your emotions, but not of them. They don't. They shouldn't consume you in your art, and that's what's happened, okay? Because people are trying to tell you, it's this way, you should do it this way. If you don't do it this way, nobody wants you. You need to experiment and draw people in that way. Yeah, you've been guarding your creativity. You've hidden it away. It's almost like... There's no way you're getting to see this anymore. You treated it badly, so there, you're not getting it. Uh, and this has been a challenge. There's been a lot of challenges. There's been a lot of, um, you know, battles, trying to get this creativity out there, trying to, um, you know, it could be a job opportunity. It's something creative, though. We keep. It, it's almost like it's a battle because some people are determined you have to do it one way, but you want to experiment and do it. Other ways, and some people see that as a threat. So you've had lots of comments, something, and it's it's knocked you off track, and you've become very defensive, guarding your gift. Okay, let's do this one. Yeah, vengeance. You wanting vengeance for something? Uh, could be just as vengeance it's almost like you did this to me i'm i keep using this example but i had a lot of my work stolen as a writer and this may have happened to you you may have had some sort of upset something has been taken from you somebody may have taken credit for your work at work i'm seeing somebody in an office where that's happened to and it's almost like i want justice i want vengeance i'm not going to rest until it's sorted out What's our advice on that, though? Just be of service. Continue. Wrongs will be righted. Vengeance will be act enacted on your behalf by the spirit team, not you. They want you to keep focus and keep continuing your work. You're bringing light to the world with your work. You may not think it, but you are. Yeah, synergy. Come into perfect harmony. harmony. Uh, synchronicity. I keep hearing that song. Synchronicity by the police. Everything coming into light. Alignment and synchronistic events happening. Coming into your own energy. Balancing your own energy. 
certain things, a chain reaction. Um, it's almost they're showing me again what they're showing me in the world channel messages, which you can check that channel out if you're up for that. Um, um what was I gonna say? Yeah, they show me something being dropped into water, into um, you know, perfectly still water, dropped in all the ripples it causes out and get bigger and bigger. And that's what your work does. Okay. But it's like this rage as well. I'm picking up that rage, but courage, defiance. I mean, you know, you've got um I suppose that's Leo and that's uh the Ram, isn't it? That's Aries. So it's using the fire the fire, pulling it together. Instead of letting it rage out of control it with your emotions, pull it together, make it work together, be of service with your art, with your creativity. It could be coding and, you know, could be working. I'm getting travel agency. It could be anything. Something creative. Somebody creating videos about travel. I've got it there. Yeah, look. And I keep getting this regeneration. Regenerated. What you put aside, regenerate. Okay. Do you know what? I think I might leave that there because it's pretty clear what you have to do. What's that one? Yeah, he's still guarding. They want you to stop. Did it? Oh no, it was. They want you to stop guarding. Put it out there again. You don't have to be fierce about it. It is protected. And take precautions to protect your work if you put it out there because there are a lot of bloody thieves. But restart. Somebody's fiercely protecting you, protecting your gift, protecting the fire within you. It is so precious to the world. Please allow the flame to be relit. One of, one of my guys, I physically see you, you're new here and they've got a lighter and they're lighting it up. And they're playing the song of my relight my fire. Okay. Uh, Right. Oh, that's kind of weird. I'm seeing Moses with the burning bush. It's being lit in the burning bush. It's speaking to the universe. It's speaking to you directly. You are channeling information from the universe to put into your art. It could be coded. You don't understand that. You just see it's something that's happening to you. Um, but it's coded and it needs to go out. I'm going to leave that there. It's pretty important what's been said okay i take care of yourselves and i say if you want a personal reading i do 15 minutes <laughs> 15 minutes sorry i just, just said something to to me in my head 15 minutes and um half an hour uh, an hour and if you want coaching i do and uh, angel communication coaching psychic medium development mentorship coaching i do psychic chat if you want to talk, you know like a spiritual chat if you want to talk about any of your experiences i can talk to you um, via zoom or just on email you can have all of these things via email or a zoom by the way and the readings are a video okay reading that you don't need to be present for but you just need a, a account with uh, youtube and what else have i got that I can, I can offer you spiritual life coaching as well. Uh, you can have one session or you can have a package. So check them out there. You book them on Paperbell and uh, they can sort that out for you. If you're on TikTok, thank you so much for following me and helping me uh, get these messages out. If you can follow me on YouTube, that'd be great because the algorithm is just, it's not always like me. Um, follow me on my world channel messages um, video as well. I've got a uh, video channel on YouTube. I put them on TikTok as well. I'm going to be putting some new videos out as well. Some more witchy type ones. Um, healing. So watch for that. And yeah, check it out. Thank you so very much for subscribing and following me. I do appreciate you all. And I hope that's help somebody out there. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you next time. Bye.